Well, hello. For this lesson, we're going to be learning how to switch from one scene to another scene using P5.js. Now, I know, like, what do I mean by scene? Another way to think about it is like, we're going to be switching levels. Like, let's say you want to make a video game where you go from level one to level two. How could you do that in P5? How can you switch from one, like, uh, sketch to another sketch, essentially? Um, it's pretty easy to do, and that's what this lesson is about. Now, I just want to say this. I have preloaded four images, um, so that's already here. I'll have the starter code in the video, but just know that I'm starting off with four images. That's why you see these four variables here, and you see them already preloaded. All right, just making it easy for everyone. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable that's going to keep track of what scene or what level the player is in. So we're just going to make this variable called let scene. All right, that's going to keep track of what um, what the user should be looking at. Should they be looking at scene number one, scene number two, scene number three? That's what we're creating that variable form. Now we're gonna go to setup and we're gonna initialize it, right? We want the user to be seeing, usually they want them to start off at level one or scene one. So we're starting here at scene. And I'm sorry, I keep switching between scene and level. Just every time I say the word scene, you could also just think of the word level. So we are starting here at scene number one. So we created the variable scene and we're starting our player off at scene number one. Now, how do we make it so they see only scene one? Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create an if statement. We're gonna say this, if scene is equal to one, then what do we want to show them? Well, I'm gonna show them the image for first scene. So I'm gonna go image, first scene, uh, let's see, I want that at zero, zero, and I want that to be 600 by 400. And you can see now I see scene one. Now, what you're seeing right here is it's saying, if the scene is equal to one, then show this image. That's it, that's all that's saying. All right, now, if I took, you know, like if I took that away, it showed anyway. But anyway, so if the scene is equal to one, show that image. Now, let's say I put scene equal to two, it, it doesn't show it, right? Because the scene is on scene one. We initialized it to scene one. So if this is only showing if it's scene two. Let's do that for the rest of the images. So I'm gonna say this, if scene is equal to two, well, let's be pretty lazy here. I'm just gonna keep copying and pasting this. So I'm gonna say this, instead of first scene, let's see second scene, and all the dimensions are gonna say the same. Uh, let's do the same thing for the third scene. So I'm gonna say this, if scene is equal to three, I'm gonna show you the third scene. And if the scene is equal to four, then I'm gonna show you the fourth scene. So now you see I have four if statements. If scene is equal to one, if scene is equal to two, if scene is equal to three, and scene is equal to four, and each one shows a different image, right? So check it out. Right now it's showing the first scene because it says scene is equal to one. But let me show you ones if I did scene equals two. Now you see the second scene. Let's say scene was equal to three. Now you see the third scene. And let's say scene is equal to four. Now you see the fourth scene. But like I said, we wanna start the first scene. Now the question is, how do we get it so we could start changing to the different scenes? Like, right, we want our user to have like different options. Like I wanna to go to the next one. Well, check it out. Notice how here it says press two to go to scene two. Very easy to do. We want it so when the user presses this number two, it's gonna switch them over to scene two. Well, check it out. This is how we do it. Inside of scene one, right, right on the image, I'm gonna make another if statement, only in scene one. So. I'm gonna say if key is pressed, okay, and that key, oh, and if that key is equal to two, well, what I wanna do is just switch the scene to scene two. So I'm gonna set the scene, remember, that's the variable that tracks what scene the user's on, I'm gonna say equals two. So check it out. Now, if you were to press the second key, right, I'm gonna press two, it goes on to scene two. All right, now let's do this again. So now that we're on scene two, in scene two it says press three to go to scene three. So I wanna to go to scene two, and inside of scene two, remember this is it, inside of here, I'm gonna write that if statement. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just copy this. So inside of here, we're gonna say if key is pressed, if key is equal to three, go on to scene three. So let's try playing our game. All right, it's pretty, pretty simple so far. So I press two, goes to two, press three, and it goes to three. All right, now we're on scene three and you'll see there's two options here. 
So we're going to need two key is press statements. So this is number one. So let's do the first one. It says if, oops, here yeah, I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to say scene three. So I can keep looking at it. So if I press one, I want to go to scene one. And since there's a second one here, it says press four to go to scene four. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm losing my mind here. I should be in scene three. In scene three, if key is equal to one, go to one. And let's copy and paste this. And let's do a second if statement here. All right. And what we're going to say is key is equal to four, go to scene four. All right. Let's try playing our game now. So the first scene works. If I press two, it goes to scene two. Now for this scene, if I press three, it goes to scene three. And now I have two options. I can either go back to scene one or I can go to scene four. So let's see what happens if I press one. I'm back at one. I press two, press three. Now let's see if I can go to scene four. If I press four, now I'm at scene four. And so for our last scene, we want to make it so we have two options. Once again, we're just going to take this. Here we're going to go. If key is pressed, Oh, sorry, it said if key is pressed just to it so we can see that. So it's saying it for scene four, it says press one to go to scene one. So I could just copy and paste what we have here in scene three. If key is equal to one, go to scene one. And we can do that one more time here. Let's just do that all over again here. We'll do this. And this one says if key is equal to three, go to scene three. All right. So now we have it all kind of linked up and we did all our if statements in the right place. So Let's play our game. Let's see if this thing works. Go to scene two, press two. Good. Three, one, two, three. Let's go to scene four. Let's go back to one. Let's go to two, three, four. Let's go back to three. Let's go back to four, three, four, three, four. And that's it. So the real thing is here is that you just need a variable for the scene that keeps track of the scene, right? So we set up the variable. We initialize it to one. So we start in scene one. Then we set up our if statements, like what do we want to happen in each one of our scenes? Now it's good to note here, you could do other things. You don't just have to have one image. You could have put anything. I could put a, an ellipse in scene one. So in scene one, you see an ellipse at 200, 200. So you could, you could have a, a, a circle. Oh, sorry, I should do that right under the image. You could do anything here. This circle that you see right there, that ugly circle, well, you'll only see that if you're in scene one, because everything here is in the if statement for scene one. So if I press two, you notice how it goes away. Um, but if I go back to one, there it is. So you'll only see what's in the first scene, that anything that's in between that first if statement, where it says if scene one, and then you say, what do you want in scene one? And that's it. That's how it's done, guys. All right, that's it for this lesson. Peace.